And James Button joins us now. Welcome, it's nice to see you. Thank you, thank you for having me. Groundbreaking on Harrison Place we just saw happened a few weeks ago. Construction getting underway now or in the next few weeks? Yes, yes, we're, uh, construction's underway. Uh, we've uh, actually been fast at work since June, so excited about it. And the timeline, how long will it take? Uh, since June, uh, from June, it'll be 18 months. We hope to finish and uh, start uh, renting uh, the units in the commercial spaces in January of 24. And 40 units in, in Harrison Place? Yes, uh, 40 units of affordable, safe, stable, uh, uh, really nicely appointed housing, and then five commercial spaces underneath. Which will be right on the ground floor, right along Main Street. Yes, in, in yes, Rome. that's a. And does this truly fill several needs in downtown Malone? Uh, citizen advocates certainly believe so. Uh, when we first embarked on uh, uh, this journey uh, five long years ago, uh, this was the project's inception uh, in, in 2017, we, uh, we wanted to do more than just provide affordable housing, uh, to, to fill a void uh, uh, and provide safe, stable housing. We wanted to uh, create a win for the community as well. Uh, Citizen Advocate's mission is making lives better, and of course we're focused on uh, the folks that we uh, serve and support uh, through our services, but we also see ourselves as uh, folks who challenge status quo and really try to expand people's perspective on how uh, we can address uh, social challenges. So with, with Harrison Place, uh, not only is it a win for the people we support, but it's a win for the community because it is civic resurgence. It's revitalization. It's, it's with a nicely appointed building uh, that takes blight off, uh, off the community's hands and replaces it with uh, something that everyone can be proud of. Several of those buildings were damaged or destroyed by a huge fire back in 2017, and, so, and they were still there. So it, it really yes. was... Uh, kind of an ugly blight in, in downtown Malone. It, it was, and uh, Malone's a wonderful community. It's a community that's done so much for citizen advocates. We wanted to give back to the community, and when folks are just on Route 11 passing through, the first impression is what they see on Main Street. So we wanted to make a statement. We wanted to put a statement piece in the middle of downtown that says, hey, Malone is a great place, uh, and uh, we're proud of the work we're doing in the community. So 40 units, about half of those households will receive services from you. you yes. you'll, you'll be helping the tenants who live there. Yeah. What, what sorts of services will you be providing to them? Citizen Advocates is uh, what we like to uh, refer to as a whole health integrated service provider. When uh, I'm sharing with folks who haven't heard of us yet uh, or aren't familiar with our industry, I say Citizen Advocates provides quality clinical care and then we like to get into any kind of programming that helps people thrive in the community. We recognize that a person's path to recovery or getting back on their feet starts in a clinical setting but really is determined by their life circumstances. So Citizen Advocates provides, in addition to uh, mental health and addictions treatment, we provide supports for folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities, supported housing, employment, pharmacy, transportation, food security, fuel security. So a number of those programs will be integrated into the Harrison Place Housing Project. And you, you talk about those services and, and that maybe people haven't heard of them. More and more people are hearing about them. You, you folks are really growing and expanding and offering your services really across the North Country. When we refer to the region that we serve, we say we have services from the shores of Lake Champlain to the shores of Lake Ontario. Uh, Plattsburgh to Watertown and anywhere in between is where you'll find uh, citizen advocate services and supports. We're grateful uh, to be in a position to fill uh, a void in each community that we serve. More and more people are recognizing that mental wellness is on par with physical health. It's the two pillars with which our wellness stands upon. So yes, we are uh, expanding. Uh, we have services in uh, Plattsburgh, Saranac Lake, Malone, Ogdensburg, uh, Messina, and now Watertown. You broke ground a, a short yes. time ago for that. Uh, you're creating a, a mental health urgent care facility? That's right. Tell us a little bit about that. And that's, that's right. We, we, call it, uh, we call it the BHUC, which is Behavioral Health Urgent Care, uh, except for it's 24-7, 365 days a year. When Citizen Advocates approaches a problem or an issue or 
uh, an area where we can improve uh, delivery of services, we try to get in uh, the mindset of people who are receiving that care. With regard to the behavioral health urgent care, uh, we wanted to eliminate some of the traditional hurdles that people encounter when they are ready to seek treatment. One is, is that we wanted to offer around the clock service because we recognize that rock bottom or uh, when folks are ready to make a change doesn't necessarily happen within the confines of the business day. So that was the 24 seven model. But in addition to that, we don't want folks to encounter uh, the complexities of having to have a referral uh, like you do when you have to see a specialist in traditional settings. But also, um, we want folks to know that there's no wait list. You come in, uh, we'll take care of you. So it's walk-in. It is walk-in, yes, yes. And in the work we've done in other communities with our behavioral health urgent care model, we recognize that uh, there are some folks who aren't really sure what uh, they need help on or whether or not they have a problem. We say that's okay. If you need services and supports or you think you need someone to talk to, we'll work with you. We will serve as a thought partner with you on helping you get back on the right track. And primarily mental health, behavioral health, but will those urgent care facilities also be able to accept and treat perhaps people with addiction issues? Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, we'll have um, a whole complement of staff, including physicians, psychiatrists, nurse practitioners, social workers, counselors, therapists, care coordinators, transportation experts. And in addition to that, we want to help with housing and employment. We believe that folks who have safe, stable housing and are living in the community with purpose are better able to focus on their recovery. And in Watertown, that facility is under construction. You have other facilities. In Ogdensburg, you've already opened uh, that urgent care center yes. and broken ground in Malone on another. Yes, that's, that's correct. Uh, we have three behavioral health urgent cares. Uh, Wa Watertown is under construction. That's a 20,000 square foot uh, facility and it's located right on State Street in the heart of the community. Ogdensburg is another facility that we're, we're really proud of. That's been up and running since April. And uh, in Malone, we are actually redefining our behavioral health urgent care. We've operated a crisis and recovery center in coordination with Alice Hyde Medical Center for the last five years on the hospital campus. Mm -hmm. We've taken the lessons that we've learned and in fact, um, uh, the space that we need to redefine what we are doing in Malone. We've actually outgrown the space that we had in 2017. So we're moving into a larger building. And are you looking at similar projects in other communities? We certainly are. We want to fill a need uh, for the North Country. And because Citizen Advocates has a number of different programs, 124 different programs to be exact, we can lead in any community uh, with the services that are required. Well, you've grown dramatically. Uh, several hundred employees, nearly 800 employees? Yes, we have about 850 employees. We serve uh, between six and 7,000 unique individuals a year. We provide services in six counties and as I said, 124 mm -hmm. different programs. Has the pandemic caused problems? Has it delayed projects like Harris in place or has it created uh, problems trying to find enough employees uh, to work in your facilities? While the pandemic has created challenges for us, it's actually opened up opportunities as well. A huge problem in the North Country uh, is transportation. Prior to the pandemic, many people were accustomed and oriented to receiving their care in person. But with the pandemic and with the advancements and regulations around telehealth, mm. we've really overnight eliminated this transportation burden. And in fact, more and more people are coming to care because if you can receive care uh, in the confines and comfort of your home, you're more apt to seek care. So we're excited about that. So this is one of those cases where even though the pandemic may be winding down and ending the services you provided during the pandemic, you're going to keep offering because yes. it fills a void. Yes, and uh, service needs have skyrocketed. Uh, again, uh, there were silver linings uh, associated with COVID, I think for all of us. I think in addition to that, the bipartisan support in Albany and in Washington 
uh, for mental health treatment and the understanding and emphasis around the importance of addiction treatment has been helpful for providers like citizen advocates who want to do more uh, but need support from state and federal regulators. So you hope that support continues and if you continue to receive it, you're looking to expand. More. We are, we are. We want to, uh, we often say we're North Country people uh, serving North Country communities. We're committed to the North Country. So if there's a need, uh, and there's significant need across the North Country, even though there are a number of fantastic providers and we have a solid continuum of care, Citizen Advocates wants to continue to fill those needs. James Button, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tom. The Harrison Place Housing and Retail Complex is a collaboration between New York State Homes and Community Renewal and Citizen Advocates. The state is kicking in about $14 million for the $22 million project.